hi darlings welcome back to my channel from the title you can tell today i'm going to be showing you how to make semo the smooth way the easy way the easiest way to make semo so the first thing you need to do is to pour out your semo content into um a plate or in my case into a container that has cover okay this is so that it can be easy for you to um pour it while making the semo so when your water is almost boiled you add in granite oil and then when it has boiled properly we are going to gently gradually <laughs> add semo into the pot while stirring it okay so i did not um i did not increase the speed of this video i've just left it as normal so that you can follow the process so just keep adding it gently 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 and stirring so the reason you're adding it very gently is so that you don't end up with lumps so you keep adding the semo flour until you can't stay it anymore and then you can tell that okay the semo flour is enough like just after you you can't stay it anymore with one hand you just add a little bit more and then hold your pot and stay keep on stirring just mix everything properly and sorry i forgot to mention that once you started adding your semo you have to reduce the fire to low heat so that it's not burning as you're stirring it Once we keep close, we should never So after everything has been stirred properly, you just need to add in water, just little water, about half a cup of water. Well, depending on the size, on the quantity of semo you're making, just add in little water Um, try to do what I just did on the screen. Like try to separate the semo so that the water can enter in properly and boil, still on low heat, okay? Then for about three, four minutes, after about four minutes, you open it up and stir again stir until everything is properly combined and that is it guys your semo is ready it is ready and i like to point out that the reason for adding um granite oil vegetable oil to the water for making your semo is so that it can be easy to stay without quickly forming lumps you know how you add vegetable oil to water when you're about to boil spaghetti just to make them separate and not come together is the same situation here so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you have to let me know by liking the video by commenting and sharing this video okay i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye